for example, let me put a simple message here. Yeah, my message is already put, already saved here. So if I press hello world and then I say send text, we are going to say it's going to be displayed as hello world. Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how you can be able to control the text displayed on a Max 7219 LED display using a web page over a Wi-Fi network. And this is done using the help of an ASP8266 node MCU, which is here. In my other previous tutorials, I've already talked about how to create a web page or web server using a node MCU. And I've also talked about how to display text using the Max 7219 LED display. So before you can go any further, you can always make reference to those other tutorials I've made before. But here the major issue is simply how to wire up this hardware and the code. So let's have a look at how this wiring is done. So you can have a closer look at the wiring of how we are going to connect the Mac 7219 LED display and the Node MCU. So from here you can see we have the clock pin here. This clock is going to go to the D5. Yeah, it's going to be connected to D5, pin D5 of the node MCU. Then we have the chip select. The chip select is going to go to D8. Then we have the data in, or data in pin goes to D7. Then of course the ground, you go to the ground pin and the ground pin, and then the VCC. It's going to go to VCCP in here. So, very simple like that. And now we can have a look at the code we are going to be using. This is the code we are going to be using. So, we are going to be including the ESP8266 Wi Fi dot H. It's going to control the Node MCU with our Wi Fi network. Then we have the MD Max 72XX.H for controlling the Max 7219. LED display. I've talked about this in my tutorials where I was talking about how to control the Max LED display with Arduino. So you can check it out. And then we also have the SPI.h. Now there are a few things I want to talk about where you should put some emphasis. And the first one is here the, mom, the number of devices that you're going to be using. I think this setup can stand a maximum of 8 LED matrices, but in this case I'm using 4. So I'll specify the number of devices that we're using. Then you also have to specify the hardware type that we're using. Most cases, this MD Max 726 display comes with a Parola type of display. But in this case, for example, mine I'm using the FC16 display. So that's why I've changed this to FC16 HW. Then here, you have to specify your Wi-Fi ID and the Wi-Fi password. So there are things are normal, depending on how you have mastered the use of this library. Then here, if you have some knowledge of web design you can change these parameters and yeah you can do some styling and so that you can have a better looking web page depending on what you like as if you know how to manipulate some CSS code and HTML but if you're not very good with that you can use mine it's mine custom made so it's okay but I would advise you to do your own just for personal benefit and practice yeah, the rest of the code is very simple. So you now upload the code into the Node MCU and observe what happens. So the first thing you're going to be displaying here is the URL that we're going to be using to display our pages on the device we're using. For example, in this case, I'm using mobile phone, so I'm going to input that URL in the mobile phone and upload. So that URL will give me this kind of web page. In that web page, 
I can be able to input a message here. Then I say send text, and that message is going to be displayed on the matrix display there. So, for example, let me put a simple message here. Some other messages already put already saved here. So, if I press hello world, and then I say send text. So, you are going to say it's going to be displayed as hello world. Okay. So, it means now you can be able to control the matrix display using mobile phone or your computer or anything which is connected to the Wi-Fi network I'm using here. So, I put another message here. We put Yeah, thanks for watching. And I put send text. So this place is gonna be showing like that. So I hope the tutorial was interesting for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then to watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.